This is Dr. Michael Brisbane, a neurosurgeon from Long Island, uh, sharing with you some interesting cases that I've taken care of. So this patient that I'm going to present to you now is a 46-year-old woman who presented with um, swelling in her body, in her face, in her legs, and also high blood pressure and diabetes. She was only 46. And testing ultimately showed that she had Cushing's disease. And further testing the MRI, this is an MRI post-contrast coronal image, which does show a pituitary tumor. There's a nine millimeter or about one centimeter tumor on the right side of the pituitary gland. Testing showed that this tumor was the cause of the problem. She was producing an excess of ACTH or adrenocorticotropic hormone, which is the cause of Cushing's disease, which ultimately causes the body to see a much higher level of steroid than it normally would and can cause swelling, high blood pressure, diabetes, a host of other problems. So this woman was having a lot of major medical problems at a young age due to this small tumor, which was producing this excess amount of hormone. So the approach to this is generally agreed to be surgical. We do a uh, an endonasal endoscopic approach. I do this with an ear, nose, and throat doctor. We go through the through the nostrils, and we're able to get to the tumor. And uh, this, and we're in this case, we're able to remove the tumor in entirety. This is um, a post-op MRI showing that we were, you know, we're exactly where we had planned to be, and the tumor was now gone. Ultimately, the way that we confirm that we've gotten the whole tumor out in, in the Cushing's case is with endocrine tests. So actually what happens um, when, when there's a successful surgery, uh, transphenol surgery for Cushing's is immediately after surgery, the, the cortisol actually is unusually low. And so while they were seeing very high cortisol levels before, once the tumor is out, the cortisol can drop to close to zero and they actually need some hydrocortisone and cortisol replacement therapy for a bit, which she did. Um, and ultimately that got better. And her, you know, her cortisol levels returned to normal. Um, her blood pressure and diabetes all resolved. Her facial and body appearance all resolved. So this is an interesting benign brain tumor that can be completely cured with standard surgical technique. And we've, we've since followed her with subsequent images and subsequent endocrine and hormone tests, and those have all remained normal. So the hope is that she is cured and, and uh, has done very well from this standard surgical technique. Thank you for hearing about this interesting case.